another important gadget here, the RCCB. The RCCB ensures that it protects your circuit, your appliances against an electric shock in case of any. In case there will be any leakages or there will be a current that will leak from face to earth, then it will trip the entire circuit, meaning it will shut down all the circuits that are connected to the MCBs or the miniature circuit breakers. So I will have it here. And then the output connection from the DP MCB or from the main switch will have to go through this RCCB so that the output here of this RCCB will now feed the neutral as well as the MCBs that will connect here. So that once it trips, it means that all the circuits in the house are shut down. So let us go ahead and wire it. Before we do that, note that the RCCB has the neutral and the live. This is the incoming and the neutral and the live outgoing. So this we will feed to the circuit. Let's go ahead and wire it. So first I will place it in there. So I have my wires here that I will use. So from the DP MCB, I will then have to connect the RCCB there. Now smash that like button if you are getting some value out of our today's RCCP lesson. The new the face from the DP MCB connected there. That is the output. And then I will connect the neutral, which is this wire. Remember, it is also the same size. 10 millimeter square, same size as the mains wires. So now I have these two, the face and the neutral, going now all the way to our RCCB. So I will connect them like so. So note that I'm using the longer route for the sake of future use in case there will be a need for the same. So now from the output of this DPMCB, we have this and I will start with the neutral and connect it. So I will connect it like so, that is my neutral wire, just to ensure the connection is very tight and then the face, I will connect it there.
then screw it properly now having looked all of them i will now look the neutral the neutral bars and then the live or the face will be looped to the MCBs. Now for this neutral here, the output, we will connect it to this neutral bar using this piece of wire here. And we will simply connect it at the first connection that is on our neutral bar there. We will screw both and ensure that that connection has to be very tight. Any loose connection at the neutral line is a recipe for disaster. Another problem that happens with the neutral is if you will screw on the insulation, meaning the circuit will strain to complete and therefore appliances will have a problem getting there enough or sufficient electrical supply so for this one we will also screw it at the neutral bar like so and confirm the connection is firmly done like that beauty so we have connected the neutral bar the first one to the output neutral now we will loop these two neutral bars and to loop them I will simply use this wire here notice also the size so I will have it connected there and on the first connection there and then i will screw them now in the next video we will be talking about a thing very very important in this consumer unit and i will be guiding you through all that concerns it i'll also be connecting the neutral wires and showing you why it is important to have tightly made connections stay tuned for it so that you don't miss an episode if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe and I will be showing you more.